Good morning and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness on Patreon. Well, today we have a special treat for you. It is a CrossFit inspired workout. Now, we had a three way tie when it came to our Patron's Choice workout for October, so I just went ahead and did the CrossFit one for this month and then I will do the other two in the upcoming months. So, today's workout is going to be fun. It's not going to be super long, but it is going to be super intense. It's gonna start with a section that we're doing for time. It's seven rounds of different moves that you're gonna do seven reps of. Then we're gonna to go to a little six section, six minutes of hit. Then we're gonna to go to a five minute AMRAP. Then we're gonna to go to four minute hit, four minute AMRAP, sorry. Then a three minute hit, a two minute AMRAP, and then a one minute burpee finisher. So this workout is not gonna take you long, but it is going to really make you sweat, really make you tired, and challenge every muscle in your body. So what you're gonna need for this workout, if you have it, is a sturdy elevation you can jump on, because um, we're gonna do some box jumps and some box squats. So other than that, you will need your dumbbells. Uh, get your light to medium dumbbells for some snatches, get your heavy dumbbells for some leg work, get your kettlebell um, if you have that. I will be using my kettlebell today for some of the moves. If you don't have it, just grab your dumbbell. You can do the same thing. So box, weights of all sorts, lots of water, and a can-do attitude for this CrossFit-inspired workout. All right, let's get warmed up. All right, guys, let's get ready for this workout with a good warm-up. All right, we're gonna start with jacks, and we're gonna rotate those arms forward. This is a high-energy workout. We're going to use our whole body to try to develop a lot of strength and power. We will not be doing the Olympic lifts that <laughs> CrossFit is so famous for and infamous for, <laughs> for, at least from the people who've gotten hurt. <laughs> it's a little infamous, I guess, but anyway, we are doing CrossFit inspired moves today. Reverse those arms. So lift a challenging weight. Nothing that you're not ready for. Nothing that you need a spot for. Unless, of course, you have a coach with you. But just have fun. CrossFit has some wonderful principles for making you strong. All right. And we're gonna tap into some of those moves today. All right, here we go. We're gonna stir the pot, okay? You're gonna make a big circle. I heard Millionaire Hoy call this stir in the pot when I did a workout with him once. I thought that was cute. All right, so we're gonna circle. And then every couple circles, we're gonna dip that knee down. Into a half lunge. All right, let's reverse it. We are gonna have fun today. And do a little box jumping, a little dumbbell snatching, should be really fun. All right, let's go to that other side, okay? We are going to stir the pot first. I want to make sure our shoulders are nice and warmed up. Random piece of towel fuzz on my shoe, got to take care of that. All right, now we're going to start to dip. Every couple circles, dip into that lunge. Feel it in your hip flexor. Oh yeah, get ready for this workout. If you need a longer warm up than this, absolutely. Let's switch your arms, absolutely take it. I have some new lights. We got these to help you to be able to see the moves better. I hope you all like them. Just let me know if it makes watching our videos better. Last one. All right, let's shake it out. All right, now we're gonna do a lunge. When we come up, knee in and out. Then we're gonna lunge with this leg. Knee in and out. Lunge with this leg. Knee in and out. If you have a lot of space, this is a fun walking lunge to do, okay? I think I did that wrong. Oh well, we carry on. 
We don't try things because we're perfect. We try things because we want to get better. Maybe lunge. Take it forward. One more each side. Can't talk while I do these or I'll get real confused. Last one. All right, we're just gonna end this out with some side to side toe touches. You can open up that chest, that thoracic spine. You can come to just here. If flexibility is not happening for you today. All right, our warm up is complete. All right, guys, we're ready for your first portion. This is gonna be our seven deadly rounds. Um, we're gonna do these seven rounds for time. I've got a timer over here. Um, we are gonna do seven rounds of seven power cleans, seven thrusters, and seven hop over burpees. So a power clean when you're using dumbbells should go a little something like this. All right, we're going to have our feet a little wider than shoulder width. Your weights are coming down to the bottom. You're cleaning it up to your shoulders, standing up, okay? So you should keep your um, curve in your lumbar spine when you're coming up. We're gonna shrug those shoulders to get those weights up there and we're just gonna power through with our legs here, okay? Um, then we're gonna do seven thrusters. We know thrusters, we squat, we press, squat, press, okay? Maintain a tight core. Then we're gonna do some hop over burpees. So get those weights to the side. You're gonna imagine you're hopping over them, okay? So hopping over, burpee, okay? Um, I'm gonna probably have to finagle my hop a little bit differently because of my space. So we will cross that bridge when we get there. I may move my weights completely to the side and you can do that too. Just imagine you're hopping over something. So we are ready to go with our seven power cleans, okay? All right, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Now we go to seven thrusters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm gonna move my weights completely to the side. And I'm just hop over burpees. You might not see me, but hop over. One. Hop over, two, three, four, you can switch directions, five, six, seven, awesome, back to those power cleans, we've done one round. All right, here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, I want to press them. Seven. All right, seven thrusters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, hop over burpees. Awesome job. All right, watching my beam here. One. Two. You can do 
broad jump burpee here. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. Awesome. Round two. All right. Power cleans. You got it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Thrusters. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh yeah. Burpee time. You got it. One. Two. Three. Four. Can't decide to jump my leg. Five. Six. Last one. Seven. Wow. <laughs> Three rounds. Catch your breath. All right. All right. Power cleans. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. You got it. We finished this, it's round four. All right, hop over or broad jump. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Whew. Round four is done. Take a drink. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> this is tough, guys. Fifth round. Here we come. Use heavy weights so you'll be gassed like I am. But make sure your form is good. We have got 30 here, 20, 25. Whoops, no press. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, hop over burpees. If you have a barbell you're doing this over, hop over that. 
That's what this is supposed to be. Real hot. One. Two. Three. Hop over a towel. Woo. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, awesome. Awesome job. Five. Hit your breath. Two more rounds to go. My heart rate is through the roof. Keep your bucket close by. You know what that's for. All right. Seven power planes. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Seven thrusters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your six round. The burpees are seeming like a relief right now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. Six round is done. Last round. Walk it out. I'm dying over here. My muscles are fatigued. My breathing is whew, fast. Heart's beating fast. All right. We're not going to win any prizes for time, but hopefully your form is good. All right, here we go. One. Two. Last round. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. All right, seven thrusters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, nice. Seven burpees. All right. Go. One. Take 
amazing how something that seems so simple in format and just whew, really murder you whew, in a good way. All right, keep walking it out. Get that heart rate down. We've got six minutes of hit here. Next. So we're gonna do a sumo deadlift high pull for our first interval. Then we're gonna do an alternating one arm clean, clean and press for the next. Then we're gonna do this competition burpee. So you're gonna come down all the way chest to the ground. We'll release those arms. We'll come up and we'll clap. Okay, these are 50 10 intervals. And they will start in 10 seconds. All right, so get your stuff ready. I'm gonna use my kettlebell here. Two, one. All right, deadlift, high pull, 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 deadlift, high pull. Squeeze. Halfway there. You got it. Ten seconds. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, so wipe off your bell or your weights. You're going to clean and press one arm at a time. Here we go. Switch. This does not have to be fast. Not to make a hole in your floor as you get too excited. Almost there. You can keep that other arm out there for a nice counterbalance. Two, one. Whoa. All right. Last move. Competition burpees. Move that weight out of your way. All right, so competition burpee. One. Three. Four. Don't know why I'm counting. Fifteen to go. Ten seconds. Oh, one. All right. Get your stuff. Give me a little break here. That's so tough. Here we go with those sumo deadlift high pulls. I'm getting a heavier weight this time. So I'll probably go a little slower. All right, get set up. Much better. Stick those hips back. Back flat. You may have to readjust those knees and the feet 
a super uncomfortable move for me. Can you tell? And we've got those alternating. Clean and presses. All right, we got it. All right, <clears throat> so last round of this one. Breathe it out. All right, clean it, press it. Know what I'm doing there with an extra bounce. There we go. Sometimes we short circuit. Good for your neuromuscular training. Push up with those legs. Three. Two. Breathe it out. <clears throat> All right. Competition burpees. I'm going to do them this way so I don't crack my feet on anything. So, down on the way. Release. Clap. Core tight. gruesome. Awesome. You guys are doing so well. We are at the five minute portion, the five minute and wrap section. We are going to do a dumbbell snatch, 10 per arm. Okay, we're going to do 10 box jumps. Now you can either jump up, stand up, step down, or make them quicker. I'm using my 20 inch box, so we'll see how this goes. Probably should have worn shin guards. <laughs> um, so, dumbbell snatch, 10 per arm, box jumps for 10, push ups for 10. Okay, all right, I'm going to move my weights way out of the way here. All right. I think we took about 11, 12 minutes to do that first round. Forgot to check it. <laughs> anyway, all right. Dumbbell snatch, 10 per arm. Remember with this, you are squatting down, making that force, take your arm all the way up. Elbows wide, shoulders down and forward when you're doing anything overhead, okay? So, dumbbell snatches, 10 per arm. Box jumps for 10 push-ups. We are starting in about 10 seconds. All right. Fun times, fun times. Pull up your britches, get your breath going. Here we go, okay? So 10, one, two, three, four. You also have the option to come here, okay? If you're new at this move, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switching arms. 
All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. All right, <clears throat> ten box jumps. Get those weights out of the way. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, land soft, four, five, six, seven. done this in a while. All right, push-ups times 10. You can do them on the box if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, get your weights back. Dumbbell snap. Ten each arm. Woo! Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Woo. All right. Other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, awesome. Weights out of the way. Catch your breath. Box jumps for ten. Make sure you're ready. If you're not, do step ups. Okay. You also have this option. Woo! Falling backwards. No, just sitting up. Two, here, and then stepping down. Three. Back and elevate your feet. All right. 
So your four minute arm rack is gonna be 10 box jump burpees, okay? It's gonna be five, I'm sorry, 10 dips on the box, tricep dips. So here, okay? You can keep your feet close or you can take them out, okay? Okay, overhead lunges for 10. So either take two lighter or one heavy weight and go overhead with it. I may take my kettlebell and go up for 10, okay? Get all your equipment ready and we will get started, okay? Make sure your equipment's out of your way for the burpees because that's your first move, okay? You got 10 seconds. And we just did box jumps. This is awful mean. Luckily it's only four minutes, okay? So, jump it up, down, watch your head. Burpee. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. Seven. Go to your knees if you need to for that push up. those thumbs underneath there so that you don't have that ball falling. You got your got a little safety net there with those thumbs. All right, let's try to do five burpees. We have less than a minute left. There we go. Five, six, seven, 
We got seven in, that's good. Good enough. All right. Take a one to two minute break. We'll meet you right back here. Awesome job, guys. All right, guys, I hope you had a great break. We are back for that three minute hit section. We're gonna do one leg weighted box squats or you can do your pistols here. Um, kettlebell clean and press. And then we're gonna do a rainbow over a weight. So we're gonna grab a weight, put it there. We are going to lean back a bit to engage our abs and then we're gonna lift our legs together over our weight for a nice ab burn. So you have 10 seconds. We're gonna get this party started. I'm gonna use my kettlebell for this. It's easier to hang on to. All right, that is the lighter one. So we're gonna pick up the heavy guy. All right, so one leg box squats. Make sure you are right over top of your elevation. You got it. Really contract your abs here. Nice heavy weight. Eight seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, kettlebell clean and press is next. You just have one round of this stuff. We're working our way towards the end. All right, so you're going to clean it, press it, clean it, press it, clean it, press it. Halfway there. to those rainbows. All right, I'm gonna set a dumbbell over here between where I'm going and we're going to come up and over. Then we'll have a two minute AMRAP. Front squats for 10, V ups, 10 each side. Getting there. And lean back further. You can take those legs higher. Getting there. Woo. Activity completed. Oh, very good. All right. That's not our final activity though. Next we have a two minute and wrap just like we talked about front squats for 10 v ups for 10 each side all right get geared up here it's gonna be fun grab a quick drink we'll get right to it All right, 15 seconds, front squats. Make sure to move those weights out of the way. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. All right, the ups to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at those toes. Nine and ten. When you look at your toes, you get a better ab contraction, I do believe. Let's try to get those ten last front squats, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We only got five seconds, but let's do ten on each side anyway. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Let's do them on the other side. Almost there. All right, here we go. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. All right, you're done with that section. Awesome work. Your last group is a one minute interval. You have 15 seconds before you get into this, and it is a box jump burpee. Dry everything off so that you don't slip and fall doing these. Your last minute, okay? Take a deep breath, take an extra rest if you have to. Take an extra rest. No problem. Better safe than sorry. Awesome work today. This is your last challenge of the day. Maybe not for the day, but for this workout. Days always find a way to be challenging, okay? All right. But this is going to help you face your challenges. So, knowing that you're capable, knowing that you're loved, and knowing you have done something. So, box jump burpee. One, you don't have to count. These don't have to be super fast. Just a minute of your life. I can jump wide sometimes, and that makes it easier for me to get back up there. Oh yeah. Whew. 19 seconds. I don't have much spring right now. Oh. 10 seconds. Goodness. 
slowly lift down, come up, shift it back, come up, shift it back and hold, left hand towards the left, right hand on top, back to center, Right hand towards the right, left hand on top. Great work. Great work today. All right, back to center. Coming back up. We're gonna get onto our tummies. We're gonna push up into a cobra to work on that lower back. It looks like it has rained on my box and it has. We're going to look back towards that right foot. Got to take care of that spine. Look back towards the left. I'm just slipping on my own spot. All right, down. One more big cobra. Look up, shoulders down and back. Now we're going down for baby cobra to take care of those abs. Walk those hands a little further in front. Look up towards the sky. Awesome. All right, from here, we're gonna come into a pigeon pose. Left leg in the front. Right leg behind, come down onto your forearms. If you want an extra back stretch, loop that right arm through. Awesome. Shake it out here. Awesome. All right. Other side. Right leg in the front. Work your way down to either your forearms or looping that left arm through. Get a good neck stretch here too. You should feel this all the way back in that right glute. Stretching is so important. All right, we're back here. All right. We are going to turn around and send those legs forward. We're going to inhale up, reach, exhale down. Reach over those feet. If you can only get to here, go to there. And then just inch your way as far as you can go without hurting yourself. A lot of times we get back pain because our hamstrings are tight. So take care of your hamstrings. We're going to slowly roll up and just swing those legs back behind us again. We're going to send the hips up and back into a downward facing dog and bicycle out our feet here. Really get a good stretch. Keep walking it back. Another little hamstring stretch from a different angle. Activity completed. And we're going to keep going because I'm feeling extra tight and you might be too. And slowly roll it up. I'm just dripping the sweat. Whew, that's embarrassing. Not really, it's never embarrassing to sweat. Now, right in across the left hand hooks. You're going to look over your right shoulder. Awesome. All right, swing that arm around for a tricep stretch. We do a lot of everything today. So if anything needs more stretching, you go right to it after we're done. Left hand across, right hand, hook, right hand hooks. Look over that left shoulder. All right, 
we're going to take that right hand up, hook, our right hand on that elbow, did I say right hand up, left hand back, hook that right arm on the left elbow, I'm so sweaty I'm confused, <laughs> and alright, shake it out a little bit, make some circles, reverse, cross, catch it in the front, round that back over a little bit, take the arms up, squeeze your back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and release. You are finished. <laughs> I am finished in every sense of the word, so I will see you back at the camera for our send off. All right, guys, great job crushing this CrossFit inspired workout. It nearly crushed me. I am soaked from head to toe. So I hope this was challenging for you. I hope it was just what you voted for. If not, we'll try again. We'll vote again. <laughs> we'll do another workout. Um, if you want to see more workouts like this, let me know and we will do them. I had a lot of fun trying to polish up some of the moves I'd already learned um, that were CrossFit inspired moves. And I hope if you had done some of these moves before you worked on correcting your form and perfecting your form. Um, if you were new to this style of training, I hope you really liked it and learned some new things that might be valuable to you in workouts to come. So anyway, grab a gl big glass of water. I want you to get a healthy post-workout meal. I want you to tell your friends about us and all the neat extra things you're getting by supporting Velvet Hammer Fitness here on Patreon. We really cannot thank you enough for your support and the nice lighting that you see today, if it's nice, I'm still kind of tinkering with the levels, is because of the wonderful um, contributions you have made to us. So we are definitely um, trying to improve our channel little by little um, and do it the right way so that we can always deliver you a quality workout and just a quality video in general. So we will see you all very soon. And whether you feel CrossFit after completing this workout or whether you feel cross unfit to even move a muscle, remember that it is your health today and every day. So you better hit it hard. Get out your hammers, patrons. Hammers, sledgehammers. <laughs> Boom. Have an awesome day, guys, and we'll see you soon.